God damn it! Boom! Oh, what's up guys? My name is Gemini and welcome to Little Nightmares 2. The demo. I was at the gym earlier today after playing Little Nightmares DLC thinking about it and I was talking to my friend and he said to me, oh my god, the demo looks awesome, doesn't it? To which I responded, demo? I didn't know this existed. This is a Little Nightmares 2 demo that was free to download on Steam and I am getting right into it. So, new game. Let's roll. Get off my screen, mouse. I had no idea this was a thing. I knew a demo would come out, but I thought it was like an, uh, an early access that only like super, super big YouTubers got access to. I didn't know that like some mediocre like me could just pick it up for free and play it. So, sorry, I'm burping on screen. I'm just so overwhelmed. I can't believe it. It's like late at night now, but I can't wait. I literally, I've already recorded today. I cannot wait another second. Oh, let's crack this volume up a bit. <laughs> oh, there he is. There's our boy. This is Mono. Now, as some of you guys might have noticed, I didn't have a bag on my head in the intro. Oh, oh look at it. Oh, we're outside. What's this thing? Hello. Ooh, can I, is it the same controls as before? It is. Right, okay. Let me just check my controls. So what can we do? We can jump. We can run. We can slide and crouch. No torch, though. Hi! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Hello! Oh, that's awesome! We can talk because this is like a, a cooperative game that you play with Six when we find her. But first, whoop! Oh, I'm stronger than Six as well. I can throw like hell. Look at his little coat. That's so cool. So, Little Nightmares 2 features Mono, our main man right here. This is our main guy. And there's loads of theories. Loads of them. Oh, Christ, that's a bad start already. Loads of theories about what the plan is here. You know, like what's... Uh... Sorry, I I'm going to do that where I get distracted loads again. Um... I think, I'm just going to put this out there, I think this is a prequel. I think this happens before Little Nightmares. But after Very Little Nightmares, which a few of you guys have requested I play, I think it's a mobile game from what I gather, but I never actually downloaded it because my phone isn't really a game playing mobile. I'm going to wait until I get an upgraded phone. But, oh god. Oh, oh, oh shit, fell over. Oh Christ, look at that sack! Oh no! Wait a minute. This looks a bit trappy here. So yeah, I'll, oh forgive me if I'm being a bit cautious as well, but it's because the first enemy that appears in the woods... <laughs> I can hang off the saggy legs! Oh no, look at all the broken toes and that in it. That's awful. Um, yeah, uh, the first enemy that we come across is a chap called the Hunter, who I'm sure you can imagine isn't the nicest gentleman. Now, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be taking this with me, but I am. And um, the hunter wears a bag on his head, kind of like Mono, but just with one eye peepee hole. Uh, peepee hole. <laughs> I'm so mature. And um, yeah, he hunts for you. And apparently a lot of other things as well, because he's, uh, he's a pretty nasty dude from what I can see. Oh, look at the trees. There's warnings and everything. I've heard so much about this game. Absolutely loads I've heard about this game. And it's just so intense. Like, the atmosphere that's got behind it. The controls feel a lot better. Like, straight off the bat, I'll say that. Oh, no, I want I want you. I want you to come with me. Um, uh-oh. Uh oh, I lost it. Ah, oh, no, I got it. It's okay. Right, so, hold up, hold up. Oh, I'm standing on a pile of meat. I immediately don't trust this. Uh. Oh! Well, that was a good shot. Haha! 
Oh no, I'm not going to be able to get over that now, am I? Not with my block, at least. Thank you, block! Oh, the block has served its purpose. I think. Shit, I might, uh, I might need it, actually. One second, let me just see if I can throw it over the top. <gasps> Big throw! No, okay, never mind. Thank you, block. I thank the block for its service. Uh, uh. Okay. I had a feeling there was traps under them leaves. Yeah, so there's a lot to look out for in this one. There are several bad guys that I've noticed. There is the hunter, the teacher, the doctor, and the tall man. And the tall man... I reckon we already seen in Little Nightmares 1. I think, I think he was the hanging man. And I'll explain a little bit more about my theory as I'm creeping and crawling through this place. But for now, I just want to pay some attention to this actual game. Because look how... Oh, shit! Oh, it's a good job I started paying attention. Run, 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 run. I am sprinting. Ah! Ah, sprint faster! Oh, sprint faster! No! Oh! Oh, my poor little heart. Yeah, so the controls feel a lot smoother than they did in the original game. A lot like uh, a lot less janky and awkward. This is a new mechanic. The only thing that's new that I've found so far is the fact that I can yell. Oh, could. Hi. There we go. Not sure who I'm supposed to be talking to just yet, but... Oh, let's have a look down here first. I know I'm supposed to go up that log, but what's over here? Another trap. So, saw that. But this might explain a little bit because there was a whole bunch of stuff that we saw in the trailer that I couldn't really explain. Like, living mannequins, for instance. You know, there were just... There, there were these, like, sinister moving mannequins that hid in the light. Uh, the, the froze in the light, you know, they creep after you. But as soon as you put a torch on them, they freeze. Kind of like the Phantom Kids in the last DLC, the residents that I played through just recently. Um... But instead of, like, just disintegrating, they ended up, uh, the, these mannequins freeze on the spot and they stop moving. Um, which I thought was a really cool concept. Um, also, you're sort of out in the world. Like, out in the, the actual world. Oh, sugar. Oh. This environment is crazy, by the way. I'm not used to being outside. I'm used to everything moving. That's another thing as well. It doesn't sway like the original game. Because the first one was set in the water on the moor, where six, I think, ends up. Now, bear in mind, I don't know. This is entirely theoretical. I have absolutely no idea where this game's going. Crow. It's a big ass crow. See, it shows how small I am as well. So I don't know if it's just that I'm really small, or these other guys are really big. I'm gonna take this shoot trap. Look at that. Look at that sly little trap there. Hoop! Yeah, you buggers. I'm going to take another shoe just in case. Up there, that's a big janitor shoe. I don't know what the deal is with clothes. I don't know why there's clothes kicking about everywhere. Ah. Yeah, I guess I don't need that one then. Okay. Um, I don't know why there's clothes and everything everywhere. Um, I thought I saw something, actually. You know, in Very Little Nightmares, there's a character called The Pretender. And when she touches you, she makes contact with your character. Your character disappears, but their clothes don't. Very, like, War of the Worlds-y kind of thing. Oh, avoid them. Avoid them at all costs. Sort that. I don't want to get... I can hear something. Loads of bear traps here. I don't fancy any part of them. Whoop. Ooh. Stick. Give me your stick. Give me that stick. Thank you. Next thing I noticed that's new about this, combat. We can fight back. And I only know that because I seen them do this in the trailer, which I've watched several times. I can whack. I've got a big whacker. I'm going to use it to whack this. Oh, destroyed my stick. Damn it. So Mono can utilize weapons, which is useful. Whee! Oh, fuck, fuck. Oh, I don't like this leafy area. Glad there's another conveniently placed stick down here. Thank you. Okay. Can I move that way? Yeah. So, and you've got to feel your way around. But he also uses this, uh, uses the combat mechanism. Oh, shh! Christ. Oh, dear. Um, 
he uses the combat mechanism in order to fight his way out of certain situations. So there was the um, there's them porcelain kids in it that I was talking about in the last uh, the last episode. If you guys do, if you guys tuned into that, and thank you so much if you did, um, because oh, sorry I'm so distracted. Um, this is just so cool. Do I need another acorn? I'm not sure. Huh. I don't think so. Jesus Christ, what an horrible place to be. Um, but yeah, the porcelain kids, you have to smash them into bits with uh, with whatever weapons you can get hold of. Uh, and I'm, I'm game for that. <laughs> oh, bye-bye. Okay, right, let's carry on. Moving across. Um, I'm not sure at what point we find Six, but I know that she... Oh! Fucking hell. But I know she is our cooperative partner. It is not two-player. You have to use the Mono's calling skill to, to communicate with Six in order to navigate certain puzzles. This area is clear. I don't know why, but it feels a lot more scary when I'm in the light. I feel like I'm hidden. Oh, God, look at this place. I reckon this is the hunter's cabin. Can I have that hook? I want that hook. Give me your hook. Hey! 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 Give me your hook! I'm going to do this because I saw this in the trailer too. Oh, he does have a cute balance and emotion. Uh, emotion. Animation. Whee! I'm going to screw with his booze. This guy looks like he's got a problem. Okay. Huh. Oh. That did not go as expected. Let's try this one. Huh. Oops. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but all the kids in this are barefoot as well, but there's hundreds of shoes kicking around. Ooh, transition. Oh, wow, look at this place. It's like Resident Evil. Oh, fuck. Was that hot? Well, apparently it's hot, but... I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just sitting here ruining his gaff. Oh, it's in the fridge. Hello? Anything nice? Any good foods? It's got a lot of shit in here. Let's get in the fridge. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Sorry, guys. I know you're probably thinking just get on with it. You might have already seen this before, but I didn't know this existed. So this is completely new to me. And I'm just trying to explore the environment a little bit because I haven't done it before. Oh, well, that's rubbish. Can I open the oven? Oh, no, I can shut it, though, which is probably a better idea. Okay, then. Right, okay, let's move on. Yeah, um, so of all the baddies that I've seen so far... Oh, the music kicked up. Uh, of all the baddies that I've seen so far, I think the teacher is probably the scariest one that I've come across. I think the teacher looks horrifying. Why did I put on some of these shoes? Look at all these hats. Oh, guys living in squalor. Oh, can't open that door, right? No problem. Oh. Look at the size of his footprints, though. Oh, and they lead this way. Mono is so cool, by the way. He looks awesome. Oh, sugar. Moose head on the wall. Ooh, ooh, can you guys see that? Look in there. Oi! Oi, my size. Hey! Hey, hey. <laughs> I love his little voice. He's so cute. Well, that's fine, because if he's in there, then I've got no problem going in here. It's in this room. Oh, upstairs. Oh, pictures on the walls. I love analysing these environments and trying to see what there is. have that. That'd be nice. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh. oh dear. I love this tune, by the way. It's super sinister and creepy. The environments look great. The mo character models look great. Oh. There you are. Oh, I wonder how long 
she's been trapped in there. Oh, that's, that's awesome. This has got me so choked up. I absolutely love this game. How do I get you out? Uh, nice tools. He's got tools like the janitor does. And the janitor used to make things. But he's got all of these bags as well. He's like burlap sack. Oh, here we go. That might help. Ah. Use that. Oh, sweet. Yes. Oh, I'm feeling mighty now. Can I cut that rubber band ball? Boing. <laughs> oh, if he hits a wall with it, it decks him. See, look at that. There's loads of stuff. In oh, no, don't worry. Don't worry, it's okay. I am friend. It's all right. We're okay. You're all right. Oh, look. Look, she drew gnomes. Oh. The pictures on the wall. Yeah, she drew a gnome. She's obviously friends with the gnome. So, could, uh, oh, is this? I might be wrong. Then my theory could be entirely wrong. Maybe it's not a prequel after all, because I haven't seen a gnome in this yet. I'm saying that, it's not to say that they don't exist everywhere. Oh, that's why the stairs are broken. So I can't take the axe upstairs. Very clever. Well then, that's fine. Let's just see what happens if I carry on. Oh, there you are. Come back here. No. Did she just go in the room where he was having dinner? Where are you? You. <laughs> what? are those? I'm not gonna say it. What are those? He's built like a model family. Don't come to life. What the F are these? Do you want some cake? Do you, do you want some cake? Yeah, this is weird because he's built a family that are the same size as he is. Like, look, this is obviously the kid and look at the size of it compared to me. Are we the weirdos? Are we what's strange in this world? This is bizarre. Oh, wow, that's so cool. That's a whole new thing I haven't seen before. But yeah, so he's got like models of people. I wonder if these things... Oh, go, Six, go. I wonder if these things that wear the masks, like the, the janitor and the chefs, I wonder if they are trying to be human. Or trying to simulate simulate humanity. Yeah, we've got to work together, haven't we? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Up we go. God, six is strong. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. Uh oh. Oh god, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, six. Six, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I can hear him. Oi. <laughs> I love that little hand motion that he does. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad you're coming with me. <laughs> All right, we've got a little companion. Hi, Six. So I think this is Six before she gets the raincoat. It's very similar. Oh, wait. I'm going to need you for this, aren't I? Help. There we go. We're friends. Good job. Oh, look. If I hold R2, they hold hands. Come with me. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. Best friend. Come on, then. Come on, best friend. Let's go. We need to get that key. Oh, a big smelly sack. Just what we needed. Okay, then. I 
don't know what to do. Oh, right. You. Glad you know what to do. Huh. So she'll gonna help me. She's gonna help me jump over there. Alright then. Well, this is cool. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Are you another model? Oh, no. So you don't know what's gonna come to life and what isn't. Can I borrow this? Yeah, also, some of you guys have said when I whisper you can't hear me. And I genuinely feel like it's because if I talk loud, they'll hear me. Uh, thank you! Uh, oh, look at that form, like, bubbling out of it. Oh, no, that's a horrible thing. It's so enormous as well. They're so gigantic. Up here. Whoops. up there. What? No? Can I not jump on that? Huh? No? I guess not. One more try. <laughs> no. Never mind. I can't go that way. It looks like there's a way out up there, though. I want to try it again. Or maybe this is a part of the game that isn't accessible yet. Maybe I'm just being a douche. Huh? Yeah, I can't get up there. <laughs> All right, then, no worries. So it was worth a try. Right, where's that thing I need? Oh. Why have I stopped moving? Damn! The game crashed. All right, sorry, guys. Let me just get back to this point because I, uh, I don't know why, but I, I stood on this arm and now I can't move anymore. I don't know what happened. I think it might be a bug. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I'll uh, start again. <laughs> so I had to start again and they're just sort of sitting around chilling in the attic for a bit. Okay, come on, Six. Push this thing with me. Push! There's all sorts. There's so much unanswered in this game. It's so odd and mysterious that I haven't got a clue what's going on most of the time. But that's the beauty of this game. It's so strange that it's like, it's, ha I'm coming, I'm coming. It, it's hard to be like, you know, aware of everything that you need to be doing and everything that goes on because a lot of it doesn't make sense. Like why, why these things? Why are they a thing? Right, I'm not gonna stand on this bastard arm again. Oh, oh, oh it fell on him, kicked it off. Huh. Can I, can I have this now, please? There we go. Yeah, I think I just got stuck in an animation or something like that. I half expected it to, like, come to life and start throttling me. Um, but, yeah. You guys let me know in the comments section. What the F do you make of any of this? Use that. Like, what do you make of it? What What's the purpose of any of this? Oh, oh, wait, wait. I need to get on the... I need to get on the maggot. Let me get on the maggot. There we go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, oops. Oh, good. <laughs> I was lucky. Thank you. We have a key. See? Oh, nice. I don't have to hold on to it because he has pockets. Oh, sweet. Nice one. Oh, look at that friggin' hanging corpse there. Oh, there's so much to love. I have got... The, my commentary on this game from start to finish must absolutely suck. Because all I do is just admire everything in awe. It's just so cool. And confusing. Here we go. Can I use this door? Wait, go, go away, shoot. How do I get in here? Aha, there we go. Good. Auto usage. Oh, we're outside. Freedom! Oh, God, don't be a trap. Look at the big boot prints. See, this guy lives like a regular person to a degree. An insane regular person. But a regular person, like a, a, like a man or, or a woman, I don't know. I don't know what the hunter is. Push, push. Oh, that's loud. 
Okay, let's go. Can you reach up here? Good. Oh, I hope I don't get separated from six at any point. Why did I whisper that time? No, she's like, oh, oh look. It's pelts. She's telling me to be quiet, so I'm guessing all that noise and all that tearing and all that horrible meat ripping sound is coming from this guy. That is the hunter. I hope none of these floorboards squeak. Oh, look at that! You can see all the bits flying off. So he's, um. I think he's building them things down here. I'm sorry, I'm probably miles away from my camera. Let's sneak out this way. Push, push, push. Oh, God, no! Uh, I fell in a sloppy bit. Oh, shit, no! Christ, no! No, 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 no! Ah! Well, I got done. Okay, so this guy, d d he's not... Oh, shit! He's not messing about. He, he proper wants us dead. Proper wants us dead. Oh, Jesus! Oh, duck six, run! Oh, let's get out of here. Go. Oh, wait down here. This way. Shh. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, you are not nice, are you, fucko? Oh, look at the, the vapour coming out of his mouth. Why has he got two triggers on his gun? I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Can you see me? Come in. Come on. Come here. Let's let's go. Oh, I love how the hold hands. That's so cute. Oh. If he keeps facing that way, I can make it to the grass. Make it to the grass. There we go. Alright, safe now. <laughs> Shit, I'm fucking frozen in time! You can't see me, I'm not moving. Fuck you. He makes horrible noises too. Oh man, what's your name? What's your job? What's your purpose? Oh god, no. Oh Christ. Do we make a break for it? I want to make a break for that little hole in the ground, but I don't. I'm just going to keep all the six. Just until this light gets off me and I'm going to fucking bolt for it. You ready? Let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on, let's go. Get down, get down. Oh, shit, did you make it? No! No, 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 no. I was getting right into that. It was so cool. Oh, no! Oh, I'm not ready for it to be over. And why is she wearing a yellow raincoat there? Maybe she gets it soon. Wow! Oh! Pre-order now. I don't need to. I already did. I already ordered the deluxe edition, which is available for, I think it was £35 um, in the UK. I don't know how much it is in the other in other countries and stuff. Sorry. My mind is blown and I'm, like, flabbergasted and everything. So sorry if I'm a little bit, like, distracted here. So then guys, I'm afraid that's going to do it because that's all the demo has to offer, but that was awesome. I'm sorry I didn't really talk about it. I was just so blown away. Um, so a couple of bits that I should cover. Number one, you can find 
hats for Mono. It isn't just the bag he wears. You can find like a little Russian hat and a couple of other bits, which I did find. Uh, but I cut that bit out and you'll notice that the, what, that the hat wasn't there. It's not because I played it before. It's because when I was actually playing it through, I did a huge disgusting sneeze just as I walked into the room where the hat was. And then when I picked it up, uh, you can only do it once and it wasn't there. And I'm not going to show you guys me sneezing into my hands because it was absolutely gross. So I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, you can get collectible items and stuff that you find in game, which is awesome. I really like the co-op aspect to it. I think that's brilliant. I love the fact that you can communicate with Six and when you're in a room where you could be potentially drawing attention to yourself, she's like, shh, shh, shh like that, like I usually am when I play this game. But I cannot wait to see this and it comes out in exactly a month today well when you guys see this it will be the 11th of January 2021 um, or well I don't know if that's when you'll see it but that's when I'm gonna publish this video and the actual game comes out on February 11th 2021 exactly a month from today so I can't wait for this I am super super excited smash like if you're excited for it too um, let me know your theories let me know what you think is actually going on let me know what you think of this world and what the hell is happening within it that's going to do me for this time guys i'm absolutely blown away i'm lost for words i could talk about this game for hours but i'm not going to do that at the moment because you guys are going to get to see me do a full playthrough of this one if you're interested if you're not don't watch it i'm gonna do it anyway because i absolutely love it thank you so much for watching thank you guys so much for all the support i've been getting on the channel recently i honestly can't thank you enough it's like led up to this for a long time and i know a lot of you guys have been patiently waiting as have i so yeah that's going to do for me rambling thank you so much for watching but until next time game over